All right, guys, I don't know what this is. There's no gate to get in. I just passed it. I'm just turning around. We're going to pull up here. We are on Route 231 in uh, Alabama, and there is a spot right here, a fence to pull in. So I'm going to pull in right here. I don't know what this is. But if I pass this without stopping, then I would absolutely be a fool. So I don't know what this is. Let's see, there's a sign here. Information. So for information, call 256-208-0321. See, you got some fenders here. Got some wheels. Got an old race car frame. Got an old Plymouth right there. And then if we come up here, you can see couple older cars there in the background not sure you guys would know better than me I'm like you guys know I'm not real good on the 50s stuff but I didn't just stop for this stuff check this out up here not the boat we're not worried about the boat We're not worried about that boat or that boat or that boat. This is what we're looking at right here. Row upon row of old cars. I'm gonna go down along the whole fence line here. Now, I don't know if that phone number, the phone number on that sign, I don't know if that's any good or not. And I don't know if any of these cars are any good or not. But if you're looking for something with a lot of patina on it, I mean, you got 57 Chevys here. You got all kinds of Thunderbirds. You got Chryslers, Dodge, Pontiacs. There's a Buick. There's a Mustang down there, it looks like it's 64 or 65. Here's a convertible. And there's more stuff way back there. There's a lot more stuff way back there. So I don't know whether or not I don't know what this is. Is it somebody who just sells these? Is it somebody who collects them? I would assume they part them out. There's a lot with missing parts. Mostly 50s stuff. Some 60s stuff. Now I don't know if anything individually here is worth buying as a whole but if you're looking for parts for something and you see it call that number I guess pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff all right and we will continue moving on so if you like this kind of thing please uh, put a comment down there. We are on the power tour, but we're off the grid of the power tour on our way to a museum. And I saw this and I thought, let's stop and check it out. 
So that's what we're doing. We are stopping and checking it out. All right, guys, if you like this, please comment, please subscribe. And uh, if I had an address for you, I, I would give you one. But um, the only address I have is about 35, 40 miles outside of Birmingham on uh, the road that I told you and that phone number that's on a sign. So that's the only thing I know. And I don't even know if that's just a piece of cardboard with a phone number on it or not because there's nobody here and it is um, all fenced off. All right, I guess we're gonna keep heading towards the Wellborn Museum. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. I'm going to come down here we haven't done a junkyard walk in a while and I don't know if there's any older stuff in here it looks like kind of a newer one Turn right. and there's goats I see goats and let's see we got some older trucks and but they're all newer stuff okay I don't see any real classic stuff I don't see any classic stuff here and they look like they're closed Let's, let's pull in. Tupperware. Oh. And it looked like a towing company. And they look like they have some of the older stuff is up there. But let's see. It's definitely worth stopping and asking. So let's go in and see what they say. All right, guys. Uh, Merkel's 24 hour towing. Let's see if anybody's in here. They may or may not be. Let's see, are they open? Nope, it's locked. And it looks like mostly newer stuff. If it was a complete classic car yard, I would probably look around more. It looks like some of the classic stuff is up there. Uh, I see an old school bus and truck there. I don't really see anything that's <clears throat> real classics, but definitely worth uh, stopping and saying hi. So, uh, but looks like they're closed for the day. I don't see anybody out and about and everything is locked up and it is you know it is a uh, a Wednesday so I don't know what's up with Wednesdays but maybe Wednesdays are a vacation day or maybe they're on vacation because school's out or something I don't know anyway it was worth a shot stopping and looking April should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one It says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash barn dash finds and you click on that 
and it's going to take you here.